Hi guys, this is my Samsung Q990C soundbar. Of course, it comes with two rear speakers. And uh, today I will be sharing with you uh, how do I install the Smart Things app. It's pretty simple to, to find it. Just look at uh, the App Store and just search Samsung Smart Things, and then this is the one. Um, and of course, I've already downloaded it and installed as well. So I'm going to add a device, a new device, which is my Q990C. Uh, it's automatically on now, once I on my TV. So let's click on uh, add device. And Samsung Deco or Harman. Okay, so it should be hum Samsung devices. And after that, I need to just look for soundbar. It will search and then it will be able to search the Q series soundbar. Just click on that, it starts processing. And now it's ready to add the device, connecting the device. It's actually pretty near. Yeah, make sure your Bluetooth is on. Yeah, before you do this. So it's now connected. I just need to verify the device. Click on this volume down button click here and it's now processing yes it's registering the device now so let's wait for a moment yes success okay so i'm just going to use my home living room and q990c and set as favorite and click next Okay, I will skip this because Amazon Alexa is not working in my country and I do not use Chromecast built-in as well. If you need it, then you of course can continue on. I can skip it because I don't use those uh, Chromecast as well as Alexa. So it's now connected and uh, it shows me that it's uh, connected this way. See that? It's on, yeah? Means it's uh, the sound is ready. This animation here shows that sound coming out from the soundbar. And the sound is from external device, which is from the TV ARC. Yep, I've already connected directly there. And of course, I can change it to uh, external device HDMI 1, HDMI 2, or you can connect to the Bluetooth on this phone. Yep. And let's go around and check out. Yeah, the volume is now zero. So I'm going to change it. And yeah, it will change there as well. Changing it to 61 that's way too loud um, usually when I'm watching Netflix at home yeah about eight feet away I only use about 11 yeah that should be just good enough uh, other than that it's going to be really really loud um, so I'm gonna go through all the functions and features um, which is available here so sound mode uh, you get to have a standard surround game as well as adaptive sound yeah um, I've tried standard, it's nothing much, but uh, you can actually change some uh, settings, you know, using the standard sound. So with surround, I think you get better surround sound, but I don't really feel the difference by using the adaptive sound, it's about the same as well. So gaming, of course you get another sound mode, um, but adaptive is the one that you want to go for because uh, it will sense um, automatically whether you're listening to music or you, you're watching an action movie or a drama then it will change accordingly so uh, I will just go for adaptive sound yeah it's more like a automatic yeah um, equalizer uh, I've set it uh, to plus one for the bass and plus one for the treble of course you can always change it to zero if you want to that's the default yeah uh, then i can also change the advanced equalizer but it's only available for standard mode yeah so i'm gonna go back and change this to standard all right then i will go to equalizer and there you go you can set all this yeah and then you can change to pop jazz or musical yeah depending on which one you like so um i'm going to stick to uh my adaptive where i'm not going to change anything um maybe just on the treble and bass a little okay and about the woofer uh it's now set at zero 
I've previously when I started to use this I put it to one um, I think the base is a little too high for me uh, so I just set it to zero some would like to have it at minus one but I think uh, zero is just good enough for me um, of course you can change it whenever you want yeah and space fit sound is something that you want to on this soundbar will listen to the sound rebound back to this soundbar yeah uh, for example it it's actually shoots the sound up all the way to the ceiling isn't it so it will rebounds back and the the microphone will be able to capture how far and how big is your space so it will automatically change to fit your space yeah so that's why you call it space fit sound active voice amplifier um i'm still trying it out it's almost the same for me yeah uh, with or without this i think it's supposed to um, amplify the voice yeah so that you get to hear a clearer uh, sound or dialogues but uh, in the advanced sound settings that is also a voice enhancement yeah so you can just play around with this too um, I, I own both because I watch a lot of uh, dramas and people talking uh, in the videos. So there's also bass enhancement, but I think I would just off it for now. It's just too loud. Yeah, especially when you are watching, um, you know, action movies, you can always on it later. And as for the night mode, uh, once you en enable it, it will uh, reduce the sound significantly. Yeah, um, I don't remember whether they will disable the rear speakers or not okay um, and the smart things hub I didn't really um, set this up because I don't have any other Samsung devices so if you have you can so over here there's three dots click on it you can actually quite do quite a lot over here at the device settings um, network status is now showing it's connected uh, Bluetooth pairing mode when you click on it it's loading now um, yeah so you can actually uh, connect to devices such as your phone or iPad or whatnot to listen to it this is a channel level when you click on it you will get to see that you can change the volume yeah uh, on certain speakers you can have it uh, on higher volumes uh, for example the center yeah of course you can change it this way just by you know pushing it down or up so I'm not touching any of this center, side, white, front, top. All these are on the soundbar here. Okay, you know, slide to the right to see that it's more. Yeah, uh, there is a rear. Okay, your rear speakers can actually be higher volume than normal. Okay, in the one of the rear device behind on the left or the right, there is three speakers. There's rear, rear top, and rear side. Yeah, I'm setting to higher on top. Uh, plus one and rear side plus two okay so i'm going to go back as channel level and audio feedback is now off because it, it, otherwise uh, every time you click on the remote control there will be some feedback coming out did, did, did something like that i've not tried it yet but uh i'm not going to do that and a rear speaker mode you can actually set it to front if you're not using it yeah such as this way yeah you can put next to the sound bus if you do not have enough space then uh, of course buying this q 90 c you want to put it at the back of your sofa okay so you get to hear the surround sound nicely uh, okay saying so i think i've covered most of it in the device settings but how about alexa settings spotify settings i have a spotify but i'm not trying it yet it should be quite simple to do um, Google Assistant settings as well you can do meaning that you can actually talk to the soundbar and then you know automatically you should be able to get uh, some answers out of uh, out of it yeah and the information yeah this is the one um, I think you can also do a firmware update here let's do that now so I'm going to update now and it's checking for updates no updates available I was thinking it's already uh, okay so I maybe it's already auto updated yeah because I already enabled it so that's pretty much it that's uh, the smart things that use to control the Q990C soundbar and of course this is the remote control uh, basically it 
actually can do um, most of the things I mentioned earlier using the uh, re the apps yeah but it will be a bit, a bit more troublesome because you can only see there is an indicator there when you do this yeah see that when I put volume up yeah you can only see it from there so without the app it's a bit uh, cumbersome I think uh, to change so I'm not going to talk too much about this <laughs> it's pretty simple it's volume up down woofer and then the channel level uh, that's the one that you can change the speakers volume each of them and uh, this is the tone controls I think you can actually see the diff what is the what is the meaning of tone control in your apps as well and this is the settings um, pairing Bluetooth this is changing the inputs HTML 1 2 or Bluetooth uh, this is of course the you know play and and pause button I think that is uh, for your Spotify or whatnot yeah okay so that's it um, thank you very much and if you like this video you know do click on the like and also subscribe if you can thank you so much and I will be coming out with another uh, videos for this soundbar on my experience in uh, listening to it for about two weeks now so thank you so much and have a nice day bye